Hey man, so I figured maybe I'd just show you some of the stuff in a video. I don't know what all I want to, what I would trade, but I'll show it to you. That way if you see something you really want, maybe we can work something out. Um, I'm gonna kind of start on this row. Let's see what's in here. So these are uh, the catch me ones. Got maybe, I don't know. I'm not even sure, several hundred right there. But these are ones that I couldn't, uh, I don't think there's enough room to wiggle around to see if it has the no stamp error. I believe this is where the no stamps are gonna be. The inverted Pikachu come from one with the, the yellow front and iron giant, so it's probably not from there. But there's the Rapidash and Ho-Oh uh, bricks. They'd be the ones I trade. I've actually got three of each. I'd wanna keep two of each. And then that's the Pikachu Bumblebee. I'd wanna keep that one myself. But I do have another one, I think, down here that you know I would be open to trading. Those, all three of those are really easy to grade. There's some Entes, got plenty of them. I actually have more of them up there, some of the boxes. Let's see, um, you got packs of 25 here. For the energy, I think all I have left really are these fighting energy ones. I sent off several of each to PSA to be graded as a sealed pack. And Fighting was just the one that I had a bunch extra. Got some Snorlax. You know, these are, you know, like these cards right here, I sell them excellent to mint condition on Troll and Toad, $15 a piece. And they sell well. Or you can send them to PSA, easy PSA 10, they get about 50 bucks. So it's hard to say with some, you know, these kind of, these 25 packs of you know, sealed promos because they're easy grades. I mean, got my champ. There's Magma. Looks like we got some best of game stuff, not too many more. And if you're looking for ones like Rockets Mewtwo and Hitmonchan, yeah, or back there. the only ones that I did have of those that were left were uh, I graded them, so yeah, you can see them there. PSA 10s. For the most part, anyways. I went and graded them so I wouldn't open them up. <clears throat> Got some more purple Electabuzz, you know, two through five, the WB promos, and you have some yellow ones there. These, I believe, in this box have all been checked. Like, these purple ones had enough room for me to check, so I was able to see you know, there was nothing there. Like, you can see how much room that one has. This box, uh, I've got a lot right here, but these did not have enough room to check and see if um, there's a no stamp or some kind of error like that. These are really, you know, unsearched. We have two, three, two, three, four, five right there. Got some more of them over here. Got a few like Nintendo promos. You got the Target ones with uh, Mudkip, Trico, Torchic. There's another Pikachu brick. You can see it's open, but I don't think anything was taken out of it. As you know, these Pikachu, the number 27, it's just ridiculously easy to grade. I've been selling those for 39.99 on eBay all day. Let's see, you got. I do have the EVs left, but I'm still trying to get tens out of these things. I've been putting them all kinds of places in PSA orders, and they just never get it. Even sending an order with just like 200 of these things, and man, just they all tanked. It was no good. Got some Pop Series promo stuff. This one, four, six, seven, eight, nine, I think. Um, all of these boxes here is just kind of like mint, ungraded stuff. So. Well, that one's turned around, so I'm going to show you that one. Yes, that's a Caterpie. So this is probably all base set right here. These, this box is probably sorted. A lot of these boxes aren't, but yeah, like that one is. I believe these are just packed fresh and just stuck in here. See, like those are Destiny. Those should be Destiny. Legendary Collection. But it's not going to be many hollows or rares or anything like that. I've got hollows over here, a couple of rows of them. Most of these are not packed fresh. They were just cards that you know I had for a while. You can see it's got some first edition hollows there. That's probably the only Charizard in the entire box. I just pulled it up. And I do have more sealed promos up here. These have all been put into a card saver. Like I wiggled them up so that you could see that it was an Electabuzz and I stuck it in a card saver. Plenty of Entei. You can see some of those there. Probably don't have many Celebi. There's a misprint, so there's probably nothing too crazy there. 
Yeah, so let me know if you see anything there that um, you might be interested in. And uh, we can go into that. Hey, what's up, man? So I'm going to show you your order real quick, and then I'm going to show you the other promo, see if there's anything that you want to get. So there's your Articuno, Snorlax, Scyther, Magmar, two packs of 25 each. All those are sealed. You've got 100 Dente one direction, 100 Dente another, 100 more. Then you have, should be 200, uh, Pikachu number 27. Should be a really good condition on those. These I had just put in card savers because I plan to slowly submit them to PSA as sealed packs. So you're going to get those already in card savers really nicely uh, flattened out and you can actually see which one it is. So you've got 50 Moltres, 50 Articuno, 50 Zapdos. There's 50 of the Merrill. You actually took almost all of these. I thought I had more. I think I sent most of these to PSA. Or not PSA, to uh, Troll and Toad. Then you got 50 Togepi. Cliffa, Smeargle, 100 of Scissor, 50 of Igglybuff, 50 of Hitmontop, 50 of Mistrevis, and uh, the condition on these should be pretty good. I didn't, you know, go like crazy in depth on them because, man, for the most part, these things, these were some of the little bit slower sellers as compared to some of this other stuff. So, you know, I've, I've just had stacks just kind of sitting in my boxes, which I don't have a ton of these. They're actually, remember I ran out of scissor one time. Most of these other ones I have like three or four hundred of. And um, they've just been sitting around for a while. So I mean, I don't think that they uh, have anything. I did pull out a few that I saw had a little bit of damage on them. But so for the most part, they should be pretty close to, you know, as new as you're going to find for something that's 20 years old and, you know, in bulk. But if you have any problems, just let me know. I mean, like I said, these are dollar cards each. But if you know, you run into it and you're really not happy, you know, I mean, I would take it back. I, mean, I don't, I'm not that picky over these cards. Uh, next up we have the Mewtwo number 14s. These are all sealed. I think there's 50 of those. Then you got 30 sets each of Electabuzz, Mewtwo, Pikachu, and the Dragonite. So that's it. That's pretty much all that we agreed on right there. Most of it is sealed. And uh, the loose cards, they sh should be near mint mint. Hopefully mostly all mint for you. All right, so I got these boxes back in and organized because they were kind of in disarray. Similar to those boxes over there where I've just got some pack fresh bulk that's just kind of sitting on that row right here. Most of that's unlimited though. Um, I know you wanted Surfing Pikachu. I'm just gonna run through and kind of show you. I know you said Arcanine, but I've only got like literally one Arcanine in here. If you want a Jigglypuff, we didn't really talk about that one. I might be able to do, you know, 25 of these or so. These are actually started going up in price on me. Uh, I've got plenty of really good condition Mews. I do have Pikachu and two through five here, but I don't think these would be the condition that you want. From what I remember, these were kind of like excellent to near mint and some were mint. But I've got plenty of these Mew number eights. I remember, these were in really good shape. They actually sell pretty good in PSA 10. Uh, these are the EVs. You saw those yesterday. Like I said, I haven't even opened these, so if you wanted to buy a pack of those or trade for a pack, you know, assume excellent to me because I've not actually opened up since I bought them from that guy, Peace Center, when he sold a thousand of these to me. I got like eight or seven, eight packs. These are the only EVs I've actually went through. And it's some that I think are in pretty minty shape from those first couple packs. But honestly, I've been submitting every single one of them just because, I mean, even if it's a seven, it'll make money back. Let's see, computer cert or computer error. I think you said you didn't want that one. Team Rockets Meowth. This one actually sold pretty good. I don't think you said you wanted that one. You just said say you want some Psyduck, but I've got like 25 left, so I'm not going to sell those. I did run into some corrected Articunos. Um, I, from what I remember, I opened up a bunch of the Articuno for whatever reason in the corrected version. And so these were all like basically packed fresh, but um, kind of in a shadow. Aren't they? And there's a. Um, I don't know, I could spare maybe 50 of those, but these would be more expensive. You can see right there, Nayoyo, Chimera, not even really sure how to say it. But, they, like, yeah, they'd be more expensive. I'd have to check the price on them, but got Pikachu, you've already got those. Here's the Surfing Pikachus. I probably could spare 50 of these, and in general, these are in pretty good shape. I think I've sent a lot of these off to PSA because the only thing that I was finding wrong with them is they got a little slight warp to them. But PSA didn't count up for that at all. I got lots of tens off of them. Um, I'd have to check price, but these are going to be a little bit more expensive than you know some of those other promos. 
Got the Togepi, got Cliffa, Smeargle. Sorry if I'm going through all these and you you don't want to see any of them. You can just turn it off if you don't want to see any more. You got Scissor. This is all I have for Pichu, so I've got like 30 or 40 of those. So I'm just kind of setting this back. Eagly Buff, hit him on top. Only got a few unknown J, like four of them. Mistrevis. I kind of try to keep a few on hand of all of them so I can make sets. Like I, I just bought a set yesterday. Yeah, and I went through and I just picked out all the ones that weren't like near mint. You know, just made a new set. Because I mean, these things you can probably get close to $1,000 for a decent size or a decent set now. Got the Pokemon Towers. Got plenty of those, in which these actually sold pretty good. So if you wanted some of them, I have plenty of them. Do a dollar each. Got a few Machamp. I could do maybe 25. Probably keep the Electabuzz. You got Articuno, Snorlax, Celebi. Don't have enough of those. And I thought you would want the Rapid Ash and Hoa. These are actually some of the best sellers I ever had in my store. But if you don't want those, you don't have to have them. I do have some Misty Cedra. Um, I'm going to say that most of these are around the near mint condition. Yeah, you can kind of see right there. It's got a little bit of edge wear. Same thing up there. But I mean, they're pretty fresh. It's just they all got a little bit of wear on them, I would think. So if you're looking for tens, you know. I wouldn't say there's going to be a ton of those in here. I do submit a lot myself, but they don't normally bring back tens. Same thing with the Professor Elm. I've got a couple stacks of these, but I have such bad luck with getting tens on them. And then same thing with the Rainbow Energy. I have terrible luck getting tens on these cards. So pretty much I just submit them in lots of five with the Eevee. Hope I get some. Let's see if there's anything else. Those are just newer promos. Yeah. All right. So that's it, man. Let me know if you want anything else or if you just want this stuff that we have over here. All right.